Bitcoin just had the best monthly gain since October 2021. In today's show, I'll be sharing the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week. As Plan B shares here, July closing price $23,322 for a green monthly close and also adds, it would not surprise me if we complete the $30,000 BART pattern in August or September, which means Bitcoin back above $30,000. And quoting Josh Rager, first monthly close in the green since March, after monthly close above the 2017 all-time high from the last cycle, prices slowly climbing up. Looks good so far. And even if this is a bear market, I am happy to buy dips right now and crypto tony shares a bitcoin update i am looking for a breakdown of this bitcoin pattern and remain short while we are below the twenty-four thousand dollars supply zone we reject it off now let's step into the future quoting dan held it's the year 2030 bitcoin crashes from a million dollars to five hundred thousand, and the media says bitcoin crashes 50 percent is it finally dead? Deja vu. Now for a fun fact, if you invested $1,000 into Bitcoin 10 years ago, you'd have over $3.5 million today. And this just in, Bitcoin miners generated a whopping $555 million in revenue in July 2022. Also in today's show, Fidelity Macro Expert says Bitcoin and Ethereum are now impenetrable markets. That's right, the macro expert, Durian Timmer, says that while other crypto projects will continue to exist and compete with the top two digital assets by market cap, Bitcoin and Ethereum have already established themselves as the top dogs. Also in today's show, crypto hedge fund veteran Mark Yusko predicts Bitcoin spring kicks off a big Bitcoin move and shares his timeline. That's right. According to Yusko, Bitcoin is likely in the spring part of the cycle where winter has ended and Bitcoin forms a base for the next bull run in summer, which he predicts will happen slightly before the next halving in early to mid 2024. Also in today's show, I'll be sharing a bullish chart pattern signaling a Bitcoin price rally to 48000 imminent. That's right. The moon Carl predicts that the Bitcoin price will hit $48,000 within the next two weeks. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this plus so much more in today's show. Yo, what's good, crypto fam? I'm giving away $50 in Bitcoin every day here on the podcast for my Bitcoin giveaway. The winner from yesterday's episode is, drum roll please, we got Martin Burke. He says, I watch your show every day and love all the news updates. Now you're giving 50 bucks away daily. Best show on YouTube. So shout out to Martin Burke. And I just responded here. Massive congrats, fam. You're the winner of $50 in BTC. Please reply to this message with your Bitcoin address and I'll send it to you. And a qualify to win on tomorrow's Bitcoin contest. All you need to do is smash that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and simply drop us a comment right down below. And tomorrow's winner will be announced during the live show. And today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the number one leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. And they have a very special offer exclusively for you. Thanks to my partnership with them. They've been a sponsor here on the show for almost the last two years. So they're giving away up to $1,000 in Bitcoin to you, my audience, when you buy, sell, or trade crypto with BlockFi, truly make it a no-brainer. And did you know more than 500,000 people and 350 institutions globally use BlockFi to manage over $10 billion in assets? And I love their trading platform personally. Not only can you trade the top cryptocurrencies at the best rates, but you can get instant trades with ACH. You can trade 24-7, 365 days a year, as well as set up repeat trades to automate your crypto portfolio. Now, another flagship product of theirs is their BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa Credit Card, which you can see here. You can earn 3.5% Bitcoin back on all your purchases within your first 90 days. So go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below to set up your BlockFi account today and get up to $1,000 in Bitcoin. And let's get this BTC shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. This is podcast episode number 1004. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, my crypto fam? Make some noise in the live chat. The Bitcoin started a new week and a new month on a cautiously positive footing after protecting crucial levels. We're talking about the 200-week moving average, which we finally closed back above. After an intense July in which macro factors provided significant volatility, the Bitcoin price action managed to provide both a weekly and monthly candle favoring the bulls. Now for the five factors to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week. Number one, spot price snatches back 
bear market trend lines. That's right, in terms of Bitcoin's July performance, things could have been a lot worse. After June saw losses of nearly 40%, Bitcoin managed to close out last month with a respectable, almost 17% gains, according to data from analytics resource CoinGlass. While those gains at one point passed 20%, July's tally nonetheless remains Bitcoin's best since October 2021, before the latest all-time highs of $69,000 hit. Now, with solid foundations in place, the question amongst analysts is now if and how long the party can continue. Quoting material indicators here, fun day at the day, weekly, monthly close. Bitcoin closed the day red, weekly and monthly close green, and trend precognition fired a new long on the month. It is tentative until the candle closes, but the fact that it closed above the 50-month moving average makes it interesting too. Time to chill. And quoting crypto analyst Josh Rager, first monthly close in the green since March. After monthly close above the 2017, all-time high from last cycle, price is slowly climbing up. Looks good so far. And even if this is a bear market, I am happy to buy the dips right now. And Crypto Tony shares an update. I am looking for a breakdown of this Bitcoin pattern and remain short while we're below the $24,000 supply zone. We reject it off. And quoting on-chain analyst Will and Clemente, monthly also appears to be reclaiming its 180-week EHMA, a level we've talked about over the last few months as a macro accumulation area for BTC. And he also says, if it does reclaim, would be quite bullish as failed breakdowns and breakouts are a strong signal. Now for the second factor to keep your eyes out on this week and the Bitcoin market, that's macro triggers cool for August. That's right. The macro picture to begin August is one of relief mixed with a sense of distrust over how the rest of the year could play out. In the short time frames, U.S. equities survived last month's Federal Reserve induced volatility to end July on a high. And as previously reported, calls for an extended rally in stocks are increasing, something which could only be good news for highly correlated crypto markets. Quitting economist Holger, Brent crude price plunges as West eases efforts to restrict Russian oil trading with inflation and energy risk mount plan to shut Moscow out of maritime insurance market delayed. And quoting Alex Kruger, most upcoming important events in order. Number one, September 22nd, FOMC. Number two, September 13th, CPI. Number three, August 25th, Jackson Hole. And number four, August 10th, CPI. Expect markets to de-risk the days before each event if market running hot into them. Then, of course, we have the infamous ETH merge around September 19th. Now for the third factor to keep your eyes out on this week in the Bitcoin market. RSI raises questions over Bitcoin price bottom. That's right. Turning to on-chain signals, a rebound in one of Bitcoin's core fundamentals has not been enough to convince analyst venture founder that the Bitcoin price bottom is in. That's right. Zooming out to a multi-year view and comparing Bitcoin across different market cycles, popular content creator argued that Bitcoin's relative strength index is still suppressed after its peak in April 2021. Now, RSI, the relative strength index, measures how overbought or oversold Bitcoin is at a certain price and since May has seen its lowest readings on record, and despite suggesting that Bitcoin is trading wildly lower than its fair value, RSI has yet to regain its bullish momentum that characterized the run past 20,000 and beyond at the ends of 2020. And in April 2021, Bitcoin hit $58,000 before halving in price by the end of July. And quoting venture founder here, the only way to see July 2022 low as the cycle bottom is if you were to see the April 2021 high as the cycle top. For this cycle, and he also shares Bitcoin and altcoins RSI and bullish momentum peaked in April 2021 and never recovered for the rest of this cycle. Do you think we bottomed? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Now for the fourth factor to keep your eyes out on this week at the Bitcoin market, Purpose ETF finally adds the holdings. That's right. Things could be looking up for institutional Bitcoin involvement as subtle signs of recovery plays out on statistics. The latest such signal comes from the world's first Bitcoin spot price ETF, the Purpose Bitcoin ETF out of Canada. After its holdings suddenly declined by 50% in June, the product is finally adding Bitcoin again, suggesting that demand is no longer falling. Purpose added 2,600 BTC, putting him here. Yesterday, the Bitcoin Purpose Spot ETF recorded the first notable inflow of 2,600 BTC in weeks since mid-June. Assets under management still far away from all-time high. However, now for the fifth and final factor to keep your eyes out on this week in the Bitcoin market. New month, new fear. That's right, it was a nice ride, but crypto market sentiment is already back in the fear zone. The latest readings from the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, one of my favorite indicators. Checking out the current rating. We're currently rated a 33 out of 100 in fear. Yesterday was a 39, last week a 30, and last month a 14 in extreme fear. And checking out the latest from Plan B, Bitcoin July closing price, $23,322. Let's freaking go. And he updated us here, plus a new one just for fun, not financial advice, of course. It would not surprise 
surprise me if we complete the $30,000 BART pattern in August or September back above $30,000. That is. Now hop into my time machine. It's the year 2030. Bitcoin crashes from a million dollars per coin to a half a million dollars per coin. That's a 50% crash. And the media says, Bitcoin crashes 50%. Is it finally dead? Can you say deja vu? And fun fact, $1,000 invested into Bitcoin 10 years ago would now net you over $3.5 million, whereas Tesla would only return you $162,000 and McDonald's would return you less than $3,000. And this just in breaking news, Bitcoin miners generated over $555 million in revenue in July 2022. I want to give a quick shout out to iTrust Capital, the number one crypto IRA platform in the world. Do you know by setting up a crypto IRA, you can avoid tax liabilities? That's right. You can invest in crypto 24-7 with your IRA tax-free. You can buy and sell 25 plus cryptocurrencies, including precious metals, gold and silver. There are no monthly fees and only 1% transaction fees. There's institutional grade stores. Storage. You can open up your account today with only $1,000. And if you sign up today using my referral link in the description right down below, they're going to give you a $100 reward for funding your account. So what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description right down below and let's get this crypto tax-free. Before I break down next story of the day, Fidelity Macro Expert says Bitcoin and Ethereum are now impenetrable markets and explains what that means, as well as crypto hedge fund veteran Mark Yusko predicts Bitcoin Spring kicks off big Bitcoin move and shares his timeline, as well as I share with you a bullish chart pattern signaling a Bitcoin price rally to $48,000 imminent in the next couple of weeks. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, all the major cryptos are currently correcting. And in the red, we got Bitcoin down about 2.5% for the day, maintaining just above $23,100. We have Ether down 3%, maintaining just above $1,650, while Binance Coin, Solana, Avalanche, XRP, and Cardano all cracking and in the red. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Fidelity's lead macro strategist, Jurian Timmer, says that Bitcoin and Ethereum have reached a point where they are likely impervious the competition. That's right. In a new interview with the macro guru Raul Powell on Real Vision, Timmer compares Bitcoin and ETH to U.S. tech giant Apple and its massive presence and dominance over the industry. Quoting him here, per Metcalf's law, the bigger the network gets, the more exponentially the valuation of the network becomes. And I've used the example of Apple Computer where you can see if you look at their annual revenues, the more iPhones and all of that stuff that they sell, the valuation goes up exponentially to that until it gets to the point. And then when it gets to the the point where the network is so powerful, it has such large moat around it that even if I invent a far better iPhone tomorrow, I'm never going to be able to penetrate that network because it's too powerful. And the macro expert says that while other crypto projects will continue to exist and compete with the top two digital assets by market cap, Bitcoin and Ethereum have already established themselves as top dogs, quoting him again here. And I think Ethereum and Bitcoin have reached those thresholds. That doesn't mean there won't be other coins and other networks out there, but I think they have satisfied the test become big enough to be believed and taken seriously, right? A couple of years ago, a lot of investors said, well, this can get regulated out of existence pretty quickly. That ship has sailed, I think. I agree. I believe the ship has sailed as well, especially with Bitcoin considering Gary Gensler, the head of the SEC, had claimed that Bitcoin is not a security. However, we can't say the same thing about Ethereum. It's still uncertain and unclear. And before I break down next story of the day, crypto hedge fund veteran Mark Yusko predicts Bitcoin spring kicks off a big Bitcoin move and shares his timeline, as well as I share with you this bullish chart pattern signaling a Bitcoin price rally to $48,000 is imminent in the next couple of weeks. But first, I want to remind you to smash that Show more button right below this video in the description for detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,200 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this. And don't forget to drop us a comment to qualify in tomorrow's $50 Bitcoin giveaway. And best of luck. I hope you win. And of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, home of the Joe Rogan Experience, to Apple's iTunes and Google Play. And of course, you can follow me all across social media from crypto, Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, Instagram, and TikTok. So wherever you're at, be sure to plug in and follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Morgan Creek Digital Managing Partner, 
Mark Yusko is forecasting when he thinks the king crypto will revamp into a new bull market. Speaking in an interview with Stansbury Research, Yusko says that Bitcoin's recent market structure is indicative of a bottoming process with Bitcoin printing several higher lows and higher highs. Quoting him here, I will argue, and I've been arguing this for about 10 days or so, and I'm not ready to absolutely call the bottom. But if you go back about a week ago and you watch a podcast I did, I said, you know what? Look, we made three higher lows. It hit 17,500. Then we went up and fell to about 18,000 something. Then we went up and then we went down to 19,000. Then we went up and then there was a number about 20,900. And I said, if we break 20,900, we'll have three higher lows and three higher highs. That's a pretty good bull trend and maybe spring will be here. Now the crypto hedge fund executive says he agrees with the traditional school of thought that Bitcoin goes through speculative cycles. And according to Yusko, Bitcoin is likely in the spring part of the cycle where winter has ended and Bitcoin forms a base for the next bull run in summer, which he predicts will happen slightly before the next halving in early to mid 2024, quitting him here. So I will argue that spring has sprung. And if you look at the last two cycles, we're at the same number of days into that cycle where spring began and winter ended. Spring could last months. We don't have to have an immediate bull market. Then we get to summer. That's when we'll get the next speculative move. And my guess is that will come into anticipation of the next halving in 2024. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Mark Yusko. And to watch this interview he did with Stansbury Research entitled, The Banksters See Gold as a Major Problem and Why the Bottom for Bitcoin is Near. Check the show notes below the video in the description. And also shout out to Daniela Cambone of Stansbury Research. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. The Moon Carl, top analyst, predicts the Bitcoin price will hit $48,000 in the next two weeks. The analyst identified a bullish chart pattern that implies a massive rally for the king crypto. That's right. Top analyst has identified a bullish chart pattern in Bitcoin and predicted an unprecedented rally in the largest crypto asset. Analysts across crypto Twitter explained how a confluence of economic factors and policy decisions could push the Bitcoin price higher despite the recent recession. Now, why 19600 could have been the bottom traders waited for. According to the Moon Carl, he dropped a new video on the Bitcoin price trend in which the analyst identified 19600 as the bottom. I guess he's referring to the recent bottom because the real bottom of this cycle is 17,600. Just throwing it out there. Now the moon argues that it is likely 19,600 the bottom of this price level that was the top for the 2017 2018 bull run. Quoting the moon Carl here, what if this 19,600 was the bottom? What if this is the bounce and the big bullish reversal? Now the moon explored the possibility of Bitcoin price hitting a bottom of 19,600 before a bullish trend reversal setting the stage for a massive rally to $48,000. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto analysts. Now, analysts identify signs of reversal in the Bitcoin price trend. We have CC Liu, the CEO of Ben Link Partners, of the opinion that the Bitcoin market may have found the bottom, telling Bloomberg the following, liquidation of leveraged positions seems to be over. And Joe DePascal, CEO of Bitbull Capital, is interested in Bitcoin's monthly close and observed that Bitcoin retested support levels between nineteen dollars and $20,000 and shared the following, successful bounce from that range could give the bulls a solid foundation for a continued rally. So there you have it. And now for a quick recap of what I cover with you here in today's show. Bitcoin just had its best monthly gain since October 2021. I shared with you the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week, as well as Fidelity Macro Expert says Bitcoin and Ethereum are now in penetrable markets and explains what that means, as well as crypto hedge fund veteran Mark Yusko predicts Bitcoin spring kicks off a big Bitcoin move. And I shared his timeline and also shared with you a bullish chart pattern signaling a Bitcoin price rally to 48,000 imminent in the next couple of weeks. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Eric Castro wrote, let's go JV. I would be down for some crypto news alerts gear too. Happy 1000 episodes, dude. Consistency is key. I'm always retweeting you on crypto Twitter. Cheers, Eric. I greatly appreciate all your continued support. Hoddle. Our next featured comment is the winner from yesterday's episode, Martin Burke. He wrote, I watch your show every day and love all the news updates. And now you're giving 50 bucks away daily. Best show on YouTube. Massive congrats, fam. You're the winner of 50 bucks in BTC. Please reply to this message with your Bitcoin address. Cheers. Now for our third and final featured comment from Scott McMillan. Your giveaway is working. I've listened on podcasts for the past few months, but just started watching on YouTube and no turning back. Hoddle. Thanks for the push. Cheers, Scott. One love. HODL and to be featured on tomorrow's episode and to qualify to win for the $50 giveaway on tomorrow's show. All you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, smash that like button and drop us a comment right down below. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.